name's Joe from Northeast Mountain Guiding. I'm here today at Crowder's Mountain State Park in North Carolina. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about boulder assessment, how to uh, assess them when you're using them as part of your top row of anchor system from a geological standpoint. First, we're going to talk about rock groups and types. Knowing what type of rock you're working with is going to make that assessing of your boulders as part of your anchoring system a lot easier. You're going to be able to judge the weight and uh, things along, things uh, of that nature. So your the three different types are sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. Your sedimentary rocks are going to be your sandstones, um, shale, mud rock, limestones. Your metamorphic are going to be your quartzites, uh, nice slate, and then your igneous rocks are going to be your granite, diorite, uh, basalt. Those are going to be your harder rocks. So if you know what type of rock you're working with, we can show you how to assess them to where you can judge the weight of the boulder so you're going to know that it's solid and sound. Now we're going to talk about rock weights. Um, all of your anchors must be able to sustain an impact force of 20 kilonewtons. That's like a worst case scenario number that's come up from different organizations through testing and stuff like that. Um, once you know the type of rock you're working with and the group that it's in, then we can, well not necessarily group, but the type is more important. Know the type of the rock and then you'll be able to judge the weight of it. And we're going to go by cubic feet, so do your research on the rock type. Um, granite's going to be around 160, 170 with the per cubic foot. And then you're gonna, on your lower end, you're going to have your, some of your lighter sandstones. Those are going to be 120 to 140, some of them. Rock weights range. so. Just research the area from a geological end before you go climbing there, before you set up your top ropes, and before you use them in your anchoring system. The next thing we're going to talk about is glacial deposits and erratics. These are your boulders or talus that were moved from a, from a higher point, northern, pushed down as a glacier grew, worked its way down. Um, a good example of this is in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, there's a belt going across, that's called a till. That's where the glacier stopped and there's just a big pile of rubble. It creates a moraine there, that's what it's called. But um, So knowing the rock type that's in that region, that's going to help you a little bit, but then there's going to be rocks from other regions in there that were moved down as the glacier grew. So make sure you assess the boulder, look at the boulder, try and figure out what type of rock that is. Once you figure that out, you're going to be able to judge the weight and you're going to be able to include that in part of your top rope anchor system, which is great. Natural protection, it's, um, which go from boulders to trees, they're great to use in your top rope anchor system. So once we figure out what rock type we're working with, now we can do a visual inspection of the boulder. Is it going to slide? Is it going to tip over? Is it going to move in any way? Is it going to roll? So you want to do your visual inspection. Make sure the rock isn't sitting on top of anything, um, any other smaller boulders. Make sure there's not a layer of quartz underneath because when uh, it gets impacted with some weight, if you do hit that worst case scenario or any number in that matter, um, quartz is going to turn to a fine powder. It's just going to turn into ball bearings underneath that boulder and it's going to slide right off. So do your visual inspection after you found your boulder. We judge the size of it. Um, boulder behind me is about 8 cubic feet, quartzite. Um, so we're going to say that's around 1,500, 1,600 pounds, something like that. Um, so again, we need to hit that worst case scenario number, that 20 kilonewton. So we do our visual inspection, boulder can't roll, boulder can't slide, and the boulder can't tip over. And that's it. So I hope I give you some tips today on how to assess a boulder as part of your top row banker system. Again, rock type, judge of the weight. Make, visually inspect the boulder, make sure it can't move in any way, roll over, stuff like that. And um, that's really it. And then you can go ahead and use whichever way that you figure on tying off a boulder. I use a figure eight follow through around the boulder with some static cord. The days of webbing are long and gone, so you don't want to go with a static rope. Um, but you could use a figure eight follow through, bowling, stuff like that. That's really it. Well, that's it. Again, I'm Joe from Northeast Mountain Guiding. You can visit us on the web at www.northeastmountainguiding.com. Keep climbing. Thank you.